Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this photo collage. Before we start, it is a good idea to select photos that you would like to use and place them in one folder. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to a light color. Now press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a rectangle. The size doesn't matter as we will be scaling it later. Next we will create four smaller rectangles. First press the letter S for the scale tool and then press enter. Type 70% in the uniform window and then click copy. Let's change the color of this new rectangle. Next switch to the selection tool and while you are holding down the shift key place it beside the big square. Make sure your smart guides are turned on. Next, with the small square still selected, press the letter R for the Rotate tool. Then, while you are holding down the Alt key, click in the center of the big square to set the rotation point. Type 90 into the angle window and then click Copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard two times to make additional copies. With the bottom square still selected, press and hold down the Shift key and select the center and the right square as well. And create a copy. Make sure everything is aligned. Let's zoom out, select everything, group it together and rotate it by 45 degrees. Let's recenter it on the artboard. Open the align window, make sure align to artboard is checked and select horizontal and vertical align center. Now scale it down a little, right click with your mouse and choose ungroup. To make our work easier, we will change the color of each square. And we are ready to place the photos. First select any square you like. Make sure the sub layers in layer 1 are open and lock all of them but the selected one. Then click on the draw inside icon. You will notice that Illustrator creates a border around the selected rectangle and now any photo you place will be visible only in this selected rectangle. Next go to File, Place, choose one of your photos and click Place. Now click, hold and drag a box over the selected area. You can reposition the photo within the selected area by dragging it with the mouse or replace it with a different one. To do this, click on the selected photo's file name from the tab toolbar, choose Relink, select a different photo and click Place. Make sure your photo covers the whole selected rectangle. And we will repeat this process with all the other shapes. First, lock the layer with the photo to prevent it from shifting. Let's add another photo to the dark blue square. First, find the blue square in the Layers panel, unlock it, make sure it is selected and choose the Draw Inside mode from the toolbar panel. And like before, go to File, Place, choose another photo and click Place. Now keep placing the remaining photos. Next, unlock all the sub-layers and 
lock layer 1. In the next step, we will create a background. First, create a new layer and bring it to the bottom. Go to File, Place and choose one more photo. Now place it over the artboard. Then open the transparency window and reduce the opacity to about 33%. Let's create another layer. Move it to the top. Make sure all layers are unlocked. Then select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Select everything. Now press the control and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. If you wish to add shadow to your photographs, first open the sub layers in layer 3 and then select the layers with photos only. Now go to Effect, Stylize and choose Drop Shadow. Let's adjust the settings. Next, we'll bring some of the shadows to the back to match the other square's appearance. First, select the left photo, make sure both sublayers are selected, then right click with your mouse, choose Arrange and bring to front. Now select the photo on the right and do the same. Finally, we will add text. Let's create a new layer and lock all the other layers. Swap the fill and the stroke, change the color if you wish. Select the pen tool and draw a line that will follow the edge of this big rectangle. Now switch to the selection tool and make sure it is selected. Next, go to the Type tool and choose the Type on a Path tool. Click on the path and type your text. If you would like to learn more about the Type on a Path tool, please check out my other tutorial. I included a link to it in the description below. Let's create a copy and change the name. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.